What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to a Fallout 4 video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the locations of 10 rare, unique and powerful weapons in Fallout 4. I have a huge variety of weapons to show you guys, so let's get straight into things. So starting off with one of the most powerful handguns available in Fallout 4, this weapon is known as the Gainer. So to find this weapon, what you want to do is make your way to this location, which is being shown right now in the video on the map. Now actually finding this weapon is fairly simple and straightforward, so what you want to do then is come down these stairs, open this door up and go inside the building and just around the corner there will be a door leading into the pump house. Now once you're inside the pump house you want to make your way to the bottom of the stairs where you'll find a machine which you have to use to open the next door. Simply press the buttons on the machine to enter in a code. The code which you need is written on the wall behind you, the code being 0451, but when you enter it in you'll find there is no zero on the machine. So use the number 10 instead in replacement for 0, and once you've entered this code in the door will open, and once you go inside just in front of you on the floor will be the gainer. You can of course then go ahead and pick it up and take it away for yourself and I believe there's ammo for this weapon in the crate right next to you. So there you go, that is how you obtain the Gainer, which like I said before is a very powerful handgun, and it also has a very high value as well. So moving on to the next weapon, now this weapon is named Justice, it is a very powerful shotgun and it's also very easy to obtain as well. So what you want to do is make your way to a town named Covenant, this is the location which you want to make your way to on the map. Now to actually go inside this town you have to become a trusted citizen and to do that just fill out a test before you go inside, otherwise when you do go inside the settlers will start shooting at you and ultimately kill you. But once you're inside this settlement try and find a lady named Penny Fitzgerald, she's usually inside this shop and once you've found her you can purchase the justice from her at a price of roughly 3000 bottle caps. Now many of you may consider this to be a very expensive weapon to purchase, but trust me it is a very good weapon and is definitely worth buying if you get the opportunity because it is a very powerful shotgun. Anyway, so moving on to the next weapon, now if you're into melee weapons this weapon will definitely be for you, it is named Kemp's Tooth, but obtaining it is slightly more difficult than the ones I have shown you previously. So what you want to do is make your way to this location right by here and basically what you're going to have to do is kill all the people in this mining system. It will take you a while to do so, there is quite a few people, but basically work your way to the bottom of the tunnel system and then you'll eventually find yourself at this location. Now you want to jump into this tunnel system and then swim all the way towards this table where you'll then find the Kemp's Tooth weapon lying on it. You can of course then go ahead and take it and add it to your collection of weapons. It is definitely a very rare weapon, possibly one of the rarest weapons in the game, and with it being so difficult to actually get a hold of it, very few people actually have it. But moving on to the next weapon, this is known as the Prototype UP77, and the reason why this weapon is extremely good is the fact that it has an infinite amount of ammo. Now to find this weapon what you want to do is make your way to this location right by here near University Point. Basically it's a bank which you're going to be going into, but just simply follow where I go, come inside the back entrance of the bank where you'll then find a terminal which you then have to hack. Now once you've done so you're going to have access into the bank itself, but what you want to do from here then is head downstairs towards the vault where you're then going to have to go ahead and hack another terminal. But as I'm sure you guys know, it isn't too difficult to hack the terminals, it's just extremely annoying to do so, but once you've hacked this terminal, you'll then be inside the vault itself, and in the middle of the shelf there'll be a safe which you need to open. Now once you have done so, there'll be a button inside which when you press, opens up a secret entrance into this room right here. And in the middle there'll be a table, and on that table is the prototype UP77. Now I cannot stress how insanely awesome this weapon is, but as the weapon name itself states, this weapon has limitless potential and an unlimited ammo capacity. Anyway, so moving on to the next weapon which I'll be showing you guys the location of, this is known as the Grognak Axe, and once again, it is a very easy weapon to get your hands on. So what you want to do is make your way to this location right by here, which I'm showing you guys the location of in the video right now, and you'll be outside the Hubris comic shop. Just simply go inside this shop, and on your left hand side just in front of you will be a cabinet. Just go ahead and unlock it using your advanced unlocking skills, and inside is the Grognak Axe, just waiting for you to pick up and put inside of your inventory. And there you go, that's how you get the Grognak Axe. Very simple, very straightforward, and you can obtain this in just a matter of seconds. 
But moving on, I'm now going to show you guys how to obtain the Spray and Prey, which is effectively the Tommy Gun from real life. I have to say it's one of my favourite weapons in Fallout 4 because it fires explosive rounds. Now to obtain this weapon, what you want to do is make your way to this location near Vault 81 and you want to find someone named Cricket. Now you can in fact find it at a number of different locations around the map, this simply being one of those, but if you make your way to this location and Cricket isn't here, do not worry, just sit down on one of the seats nearby and wait for her to arrive. And of course once she does, you can speak to her and purchase the Spray and Prey from her. Now to buy this weapon from Cricket, it will cost you just over 3000 bottle caps, but the weapon itself is insane and like I said it fires explosive rounds, so it's definitely worth buying if you have the money. So moving on to the location of the next weapon, now the weapon itself is named the Railway Rifle and as I'm sure you guys know there are quite a few different ways of actually getting this weapon but this one right here is simply one of the easiest so what you want to do is make your way to this location right by here on the map and you want to go through this hardware store and then go around the back where you'll find a circuit breaker which you need to activate. Now before you can go and do this there are quite a few enemies in the vicinity which you will have to take out otherwise they will kill you fairly quickly. So go ahead and do that then activate the circuit breaker and then follow where I go just simply go up here through the scrapyard and just around the corner there'll be a turned over train cart. Now simply go inside this train cart and you'll find a door leading into an underground shelter. And inside this shelter just in front of you on the table will be the railway rifle for you to go ahead pick up and take away for yourself. Now the railway rifle is a very good weapon and it's certainly very powerful so if you get the opportunity definitely go ahead and pick this up for yourself. Anyway so moving on to the next weapon I'm now going to show you guys how to obtain the Le Fusil Terribles which I believe is French and translates to the terrible shotgun. So to find this weapon what you want to do is make your way to this location in Libertalia and once you're here come to the top of this boat and you want to go inside the captain's cabin. Now once inside this location just go ahead, walk forward and in front of you on this box will be the weapon itself. Now despite this weapon being called the terrible shotgun, it's actually a pretty good weapon and once again if you get the opportunity it's definitely worth picking up and keeping. But moving on to the next weapon, I'm now going to show you guys the location of one of the most insane looking weapons in Fallout 4. This weapon is named the Furious Power Fist and can be found at this location right by here on the map at Swan's Pond. Now once you've made your way to this location, I would recommend getting out a very powerful weapon as you now have to defeat a very powerful boss known as Swan. Now to start the battle, what you want to do is shoot this object in the centre of the pond or you can walk past it, Swan will then stand up and a few seconds later run towards you and try to attack you. Now it's vital that you have a good weapon and in those few seconds where he stands up and runs towards you, that you try and take as much damage from him as possible so you can make this fight as easy as you can. And once you then take him out, you can then collect the Furious Power Fist from his inventory. So there you go, that is how you get this weapon, it is definitely one of the most cool looking weapons I have seen in Fallout 4 so far far, so whenever you get the opportunity head down to Swan's Pond and obtain this melee weapon to add to your collection. But moving on to the 10th and final weapon location being shown in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to obtain the Reba 2 Sniper Rifle. So what you want to do is make your way to this house near Salem at this location right here on the map. Now once you arrive at this location there'll be a guy named Barley standing on the roof, just speak to him, he'll then open the first gate for you and allow you access into his basement, then go ahead of course and enter his basement and when you do so, start speaking to Barley and he'll give you a number of different quests which you can then go ahead and perform. Now you can do those if you want and he'll then give you the sniper rifle or if you're lazy you can just go ahead and kill Barney like I did in the video and you can steal a key from him which gives you access to his back room where the sniper rifle is stored. So once you've opened the door just around the corner in front of you will be a table and on that table will be the Reba 2 sniper rifle. You can then take it and it's now yours to keep. So there we go, that's how you obtain the Reba 2 sniper rifle which if you weren't aware is a very powerful sniper rifle and it's definitely worth obtaining if you get the opportunity. Well there we go guys, I've now shown you the locations of 10 rare, unique and powerful weapons in Fallout 4. They're very good weapons, definitely worth getting a hold of if you get the opportunity, so if you do, definitely go and get those weapons and add them to your inventory. But with that being said, that is it for this video, I do hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope this video helps you guys out get these weapons, but if you guys could take a few seconds out of your daily click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know which weapon is your favourite in Fallout 4. 
And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I'd recommend you to, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Fallout 4 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.